All right, I wanted to show real quick. It, it got to uh, 38 degrees last night. It's going to be a uh, winter even in Florida. I mean, you know. But uh, a couple things I wanted to show before I even take this lid off. My big flow through outside. I got a uh, three-quarter inch foam lid on it. And the doors down at the bottom of my bin that I can close off. <clears throat> I also have some foam inserts that I can put in the bottom holes to make this whole big bin like a uh, a uh, ice cooler, which basically you can hold in heat and uh, your worms will be all right. And uh, I have this one hole I'll use right now. I can let them get a little bit of air, or you can totally close it off. But uh, a hole that big doesn't really hurt anything. It'll keep some of your moisture down, but it ain't really gonna hurt nothing. But I'm gonna show you inside this bin right quick. See if I can prop the lid up. Got a wormy up there. It's not too bad on the lid, but uh, yeah, it'll stay up there. I think. Anyway. Uh, it's kind of a bad glare here, but one of the ways that you can heat these bins, if you can get that coffee from Starbucks, if you see this coffee I got here, it's sitting on the top, but some of the bottom of the coffee right now can hot compost, but the top will dry out and it'll stay pretty cool. And it's, but to uh, reactivate this, you could even, if you need more heat, you can cover it over and then add water up and it'll start heating up your bin. But the trick is, you know, adjusting your vents and stuff to keep the exact right temperature you want. And if you need more heat, you add uh, some coffee to another spot. But I've got, I don't know, probably five thermometers. I got three in here right now, but if you look right here, it's, I don't know, it's, I think it's at about 72, and it's right by this coffee. You could actually bury this coffee and easily get it up to way over 100 degrees. And uh, the worms can work their way out. If you look right here, it's, yeah, let's see. Probably about 72. This right here looks like, it's, let's see, I'd say 74. But uh, you can just keep checking on it. And uh, I got some isopods in here. If you get on, in fact, let me go back over here. You look like underneath your bread and stuff, they'll hang out. But they're working the top. And uh, I'll show you some of my isopods. They'll do a lot of your uh, bigger breaking down on stuff. In fact, here's some of my junk mail. It's not even shredded, just throw it in there. If you can see, they're already eating it while it's laying on top. The worms will get it from the bottom. You don't even have to shred paper if you don't want to. I mean, it just depends on how fast you want it to break down. But uh, some of this bread, I mean, it's not real wet yet and other pieces it's going to have some worms eating on it you can see the worms eating that piece of bread right there but they're really doing some action down below i got a bunch of old rotten lettuce and stuff in here and uh but main thing i was making this video for is just to show you that i don't even have my uh, heating cable plugged in, in here i'm hoping not to even use it this winter any mercy I can put it in here and your worms will be right but like I say dude different worms if you got these big bins they can uh, seek out their optimum temperature range and you don't have to worry about it they'll just move on around but uh, see if I can grab a handful here see there's some worms right here you can see I got Plenty of worms in there. But uh, I'm fixing to go ahead and add some more stuff to the top of this thing. 
they're uh, working the compost real good. I don't know if you can see a lot of the stuff even on the top's already broke down. There's a bunch of castings in there. Sorry about all the glare, but it's right where the sun is shooting down right now. But uh, if I wouldn't have just took this lid off, these worms would have dove down a bit to avoid this uh, sunlight. Here's a cup holder. Let's see what's going on here. You can see they just they don't eat everything. But uh, anyway, I just thought that'd be interesting to show a few people. A lot of you guys got the worms. You don't really need another information, but this is a good way to get rid of all your house garbage. Stuff that's worm compostable, that is, but this bin here is good enough to take care of mine and some neighbors if I wanted to. But anyway, video is getting a little long, I reckon. But uh, that's it for now.